In my first year, I made What's up YouTube, Paul Greenberg with the agency and I'm back at it again with another q and I asked you guys to ask me some questions and you did, so I'm here to answer them. Let's just, let's just get right into it. Angela asked me if money wasn't an issue, where would myself and my family live in Toronto? I am born and raised in the city. I absolutely love it. I would have to say I've got three areas. Number one would definitely be Rosedale. All the old houses plus the trails. It's such an amazing area. Plus you have some of the best private schools in the city, hands down, right around Rosedale. Uh, number two, maybe Hogs Hollow. It's like a little enclave with some of the craziest houses I've ever personally seen in my life. And number three, the area that we're living in now, it's a small little pocket inside, kind of in High Park, a little outside of the junction called West Bend. I think it's uh, one of the coolest areas in the city. We've got a dog park, literally, I want to say less than 200 feet from our house. The dogs love it. We're walking distance to High Park. It's such a cool, safe area. So yeah, those would be my three if money wasn't an issue. All right, let's get into question number two. Sean from Turks. This is going to be a good one. Oh, it's two questions. One, does your hair ever move? And two, why didn't I get married in Turks and Caicos? One, no, because it holds a lot of secrets. It's full of secrets. And two, because I knew you were there and that would just really mess up our, I go to Turks, you leave, you come to Toronto, I leave situationship we have going on. But I love you. I do. Cayman was awesome. Sorry you weren't there because if you were, we would have had to leave. There it is. All right, number three. I do love you, Sean. I promise. Number three. Victoria, how do I balance life and work now that we are expecting? So right now it's not too bad. Um, luckily, my wife, Jess, she's a lawyer and she works even crazier hours than I do. So it's not too bad. We've got a pretty good system. Uh, obviously, we have a whole zoo of pets at home. So we have to come and go. She's used to me being in real estate. We've been together for almost four years. So she knows how you know, crazy it can get and how last minute it can get if a client needs to see a house and I have you know my schedule open, I got to go and show it. Or you know, if an emergency happens or something's going on with my team, she understands that Sometimes I'll be talking to people until, you know, 10 to 11 at night. So, you know, I do try to stop working at around 10 p.m. That's when we kind of unwind. I try not to look at my phone unless I'm in an offer situation. And now also throwing in, you know, the vlog stuff, the YouTube stuff, a podcast or two. Things are going to get a little crazy. Uh, thankfully, we do have a lot of help. Uh, we're most likely probably going to get an a night nurse or a full-time nanny uh, just because like we both do work crazy schedules she's going to be taking a year off for mat leave so it's yeah I'm, I'm not gonna lie i'm excited i'm very excited for for uh this next chapter in our lives and it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty cool it's gonna be cool to uh be a dad and show that on youtube because if you guys haven't been watching my day in the life vlogs you, you should, should be, be watching, watching them because they're awesome, awesome. It's just going to be a lot of compromise and I don't even want to say compromise because it's something I'm really looking forward to doing is being a dad and just getting into that next chapter of my life. All right, let's get to our last question. This is going to be a quick video. They all, they all don't have to be super long. That's what she said. <laughs> Chris asked, I'm getting into real estate. I'd like to know how much you made in your first year in real estate. So I set a goal for myself when I got into the business. Um, I wanted to do $120,000 in my first year. Every single brokerage I met with was like, oh, you're gonna make six figures in your first year. You're gonna make six figures in your first year. So I did make six figures. I did $118,000. And I'm not gonna lie, I was pissed at myself, as crazy as that sounds. I'm very goal oriented. So I, I, you know, if I, if I set a goal, I wanna hit it and I was off by $2,000. And it's funny because I actually did a lease that was $2,400. It was $4,800 a month, but 
it actually ended up getting pushed back to January 1st. So I didn't count it for that year, even though I could have, but just because the way that my brain works, I didn't do that. Can you make a lot of money in this industry? Absolutely. Do most people fail in this industry? 100%. So I think in another video, I'm going to go and talk about what I kind of did in my first year to prop myself up to be where I am today. And it's going to be an awesome video. It's going to give you a lot of tidbits and a lot of information. So that's probably going to be coming within the next month. But in my first year, I made $118,000. How much do you think the average real estate agent makes in their first year in the business? Drop a blow in the comments. I'd like to, you know, get this conversation going and just dispel any myths that you guys may have. This is going to wrap up the video. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Hit that little bell so you know what I'm uploading. And don't forget to smash that like button if you liked what I just did. Ask any questions you want because we're going to be doing a bunch more Q&As throughout this whole Paul's Back on YouTube series. So send in those questions and I'll be sure to answer them in my next Q&A. Once again, thanks so much for watching. Have a great night or day and we'll be talking soon.